the former UFC interim lightweight champion Tony Ferguson. Of course, it was a devastating knee injury that prevented him from making the walk against Khabib Nurmagomedov early in 2018. But Tony Ferguson is undeterred as he gets back to the task at hand here tonight. He believes one win could put him exactly where he wants to get. He said, certainly a finish would be useful, but I gotta find a way to get my hand raised one way or another here tonight. This guy is an elite submission fighter. He has a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu game, and if he gets this fight to the ground, he will have a distinct advantage. Well, don't count him out, and if you're a matchmaker, you can always count on him. Here's the perennial contender, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, challenged for the UFC lightweight title, but now plying his trade in the welterweight division where he has been all systems go. Donald Cerrone working his way towards a welterweight title shot. This is a man who answers the bell every time the UFC calls. The guy that they have leaned on in a lot of big spots, Cerrone, perpetually has a knack for coming through. Cerrone is very dangerous on the feet or on the ground. Solid Muay Thai, great submissions, and he's a very hard worker. Championship bouts, and there is no quit in this guy. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Ferguson is 33, Cerrone is 34. Ferguson will have a three inch reach advantage. And now, for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Hard round in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! And now opening his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Donald Cowboy Cerrone! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now and go back to your corner. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap you yourselves ready? in, because it's about to go down right now. And we are underway here at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. So ever since winning season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter, the finishes have continued to pile up for Tony Ferguson. He is must-see TV, as offensively gifted as any fighter on the roster, and has as good a cardio department as anybody on the roster. We'll see how Ferguson chooses to approach this particular challenge tonight. Oh, that was a big one. That one landed hard. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here? Yeah. Donald Cerrone's kicks are some of the best in all of mixed martial arts. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, connects with the one-two. El Kukui gets caught by the inside leg kick. Straight right, he misses. Boy, 
avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Cowboy Cerrone. Jump pretty well played there to avoid the clinch. One, two. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Cerrone gets hit with a kick. Ferguson going for the head kick here, but no setup whatsoever, Joe, so nothing doing. Nice inside leg kick by Donald. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Nice outside leg kick there. Fainting with that kick. Cerrone gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Nice uppercut inside. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, he connects there. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Right there by Cowboy Cerrone. And he lands the hook. Oh! Oh, man, with that right leg kick. Good shot. So unguarded right into the pocket, and as such, he leans right into that uppercut, left the head wide open, and I'm not sure how many more of those, Joe, he's going to be able to take. Let's see if he gets the hands up, tries to circle out, and get that head off the center line. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Oh, a huge block there. First takedown attempt is there. Beautifully timed sweep and right into side control. Here in his pursuit of the submission, another attempt here. It looks like he's got the anaconda choke. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. Getting tighter. He Not tapping, tapping out tonight. He's trying to pass here. He as he looks to improve position here. 30 seconds now to go in round one. He's moved back into side control. This is where those knees to the body can come and play. 15 seconds remain in the round. Working from north-south again. Good shot to the body. In the books. Take a seat. Deep breath in. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water. And listen, I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. Let's see some of the action here. Let's take a look at that again. And here's a different angle on it. Brittany Palmer is in the building. All right, round two. All right, so here we go. Second round is underway. Pretty good first round, Joe. Crowd seemed to like it. Not the greatest round you'll ever see, but good high-level action on both sides. Both fighters had their moments. We'll see, though, here in round two, if there is less of a feeling out process. Round two underway. And there's a nice jab. Joe, pretty good head movement to slip that right hand. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Oh! Ferguson's lower jaw does 
not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, this fighter hasn't thrown any kicks so far in this fight, and if he has, they have been few and far between. When you've got that type of weapon in your arsenal, I'm at a loss as to why he hasn't chose to execute with it here tonight. Sound technique on that kick, Joe. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Trademark inside leg kick there by Ferguson. Nice shot. Cerrone gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, that's a good strike there by complete the takedown. All right, under three minutes now to go in round two. Donald's giving up his back here. Very dangerous. Looking for the choke. He's got this choke sunk in. He's got it locked up. Oh, we're getting a finish here. He might be forced to tap. This choke is getting tighter and tighter. Stunning. Stunning. And he really made it look easy. Got caught in the choke, didn't want to tap, and went to sleep. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets with that choke, and if you're not willing to tap out as he was not, then you're gonna go to sleep, and that's exactly what happened. A beautiful setup, and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold. And one last time, super tight choke, and he's out. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Bruce Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has got to stop for this contest. At two minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission. Well, what else can you say about Tony Ferguson? Came in with the longest winning streak in lightweight history and only extends it here tonight. This is a finisher of the highest order. Switches stances beautifully. All pressure all the time. And he's so unorthodox, you don't really know what's coming. All you know is that it's going to be nonstop aggression for 25 minutes. Damn.